Let's go now to Shinzu to meet a 92-year-old Lego connoisseur. Mrs. Li Ho started building Lego houses to amuse her grandson 30 years ago and never stopped. Her creations come from her own imagination as well as memories of life in mid-century Taiwan. The Lego Granny's latest project is a mini Taiwanese courtyard complex like the one where she was born. With unwavering focus, Granny Lee builds up a Lego villa brick by brick. At 92, she knows what she's doing. She started her Lego career looking after her three-year-old grandson, but it was Granny who really caught the bug. That three-year-old is a PhD student now, while Mrs. Lee He is a Lego expert. After three decades building, this whole community comes from her imagination. Her plan is to build the whole San He Yuan courtyard compound where she grew up. San He Yuan were the best. These days, everyone shuts the front doors and lives so isolated and lonely. Building Lego villages is a way to reflect on the beauty of the past while enjoying a creative kick. Playing with Lego makes the time fly by. I get so that I forget to eat and sleep. She hasn't got dementia at all yet. She's very sharp mentally and her hands are very strong. Mrs. Lee He boasts nimble fingers and a better memory than her own daughter. Sometimes she can remember things that my wife has forgotten. One advantage is it's very frugal. You don't have to talk to anyone or worry about right and wrong. My brain likes it. Lego has never been the sole preserve of children. Lots of adults find great joy in building brick worlds, proving it's a pastime to be enjoyed right into old age. After all, few children could build a traditional community as accurately and beautifully as Granny can.